going to start of zero, so on the beginning. I'm still going to keep this because remember, it's important to keep the always if you want it to run properly. Now I'm going to start with this block as earlier. And you can say anything you want, but in my case, I'm going to use something for, for my game. So I'm going to have to put something about it. Like in this game, we are going to ask questions and changing the, the second for four. So it doesn't feel like so short. I always like to do like a countdown for entertainment. So an example, and I'm in here like ready, but like with a question mark. And it will be like two seconds because I have to be so too long. And then that's where I'm gonna start like a little countdown. And it could last like one second. It doesn't have to last that long. But it's just a personal preference. You can do anything you want, really. And I just put one second so you can look like it's counting like real fast. And I'm gonna run it to see if it, everything is going like it should be. And now it looks nice. So now I'm going to go in here with the sensing and I'm going to ask my first question. It could be, what's your name? Exactly like that because it's a nice question to start with. Now I'm gonna to go to control and I'm gonna click on this one. And in here, it has like a little figure. So you're gonna go on to operators and there's two in here that are gonna help. But I personally like this one better. So I'm gonna put it right here. And now I'm gonna to go to sensing and I'm gonna put answer. This is the command that helps the people that are playing the game to answer the question. And so I'm gonna put in here, like if the user's answer is an example, I don't know, if their name is like this, then you can, if they answer like the, the name Jose, then it's gonna appear something in here I haven't, I haven't put it yet. So I'm gonna go in save and I'm gonna put it right in here. So an example, if the user says this in here, that that's the answer. Then in here, it should be popping out some message based on their answer. But if they don't actually say the answer that you're looking for, then it's just gonna go right on to the next question. So now, I'm going to put another one in here. That it should be the same thing, unless you go in here and you click on another one and it should be another command. But in this case, I'm just gonna keep going just like that with this one. Because personally, this one's better in my opinion. Now I'm gonna click on answer. And that should be the answer part. But we cannot proceed on that if we haven't added a question yet. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna say something first and then they can proceed to answer. So my question will be, I just have a little bit longer because it's about climate change. So that will be my answer. So it looks like it's a little bit long, so I'm gonna put more seconds. 
course will be fine. We'll read all of it. So now I'm going to add another one, which is wait until. And so we're going to put in here the same thing that we put in here. So wait until answer. So I don't really have to use this one anymore. I can just delete it and move this one in here because I'm not going to use it right now. So wait until answer. But we cannot add that yet until I put another question, which in, in this case is going to be the other options because in here is which one of these options is more likely to fix climate change. So now I have to put the options that they're supposed to read. So we're going to put in here an example blending trees for about three seconds. I say it's a good timing. And then in here I'm going to put like wasting water. For three seconds too. And so these should be the options that should appear after I say this question. And so I'm going to put this comment right in here that says wait until answer. An example, I'm going to put the wasting water one. So if someone puts wasting water, it should appear something in here. So that's where I'm going to put this in here and answer. And so I'm going to copy. In here, I'm going to paste it. And it should look like this. So now, as I said earlier, if the answer comes out as wasting water, then it should appear something in here. This is going to be costume. You can put it as whatever you want. It's like, I cannot put like, oh no, like that's not the right answer. I'm going to put three seconds. So if the user says wasting water, which is the bad answer, then it should appear this in here. But if they say planting trees, I'm going to make it right now. If then the green box, the blue box has this answer. And I'm going to put planting trees. And so if their answer is planting trees, which is the right answer, I'm just going to put in here save. I'm going to put the job. But that's only if that's their answer. So it should look like this. Now I'm going to add two more questions for the, the last part of the game so we can finish it off. So now I'm going to, as you see in here, I made some changes. Now it looks way more better. So now I'm going to add if in here. Remember, it's a very important step for our game. Now we're going to add operators in here. And now we're going to add this one. Remember, it's my preference. So if you want, you can add another one. But this one is the one that works the best. So now I'm going to add the answer box. And it's going to look like this. But I'm going to separate it first because I haven't added the question yet. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add this box, which is ask, which is way better than the save one because it's just like say, but this one is like an actual ask question. So I suggest this one that you should be using for the trivia. So now I'm going to add one more question 
and it will be probably like, do you like to take care of the planet? That's a question mark. And now it will be like, wait, so you don't have to put like seconds. So we'll wait probably like two seconds or even one second. And then you can add like the the answers and everything. And so if your answer or if the user answer is yes, then you can put in here that you can say, um, that's probably the job for two seconds. And if the user says no, then you can have another costume answer. And in here you can say something like, oh no, that's the, wrong answer. Well, that's just for reference. You can add anything at this point because it doesn't really like matter if it's your game. It's not like a trivia, so you can add another answer. So we're going to add one more just to make it longer, the, the game, and it can be more interesting. Remember to always add the question first. So keep that in mind. These with ask because it's way better than just saying say, which is the purple one. So I'm gonna add one last question, which will be probably like do you think water is good for plants? As an example, and the wait part is like two seconds, so it's good for people to read it and then wait a little bit so the answer doesn't come out too too fast because that's one of the problems sometimes that happens but when you don't put this one in general like in the blue one then it's gonna pop out the next question like so fast and the user is not gonna have time to think about their answer so now you're gonna add the green one as always with the answer bubble and you're going to add something like if answer yes. I'm going to control again, adding the if. And once again, you can custom them. That's how you like. You don't really have to say much. Personally, I added great. And I always add like, oh no, just for preference. Now to finish up the game, you could just say, you could go to looks, but I personally like to add this box in here and I'm gonna put it right here. And so, as I said earlier, so it doesn't pop out like, the questions or whatever you want to say like right away so people have time to think about it just put the wait button you can choose how long it will stay i'm gonna definitely put two seconds so it doesn't put out like so fast so now i'm gonna say like a conclusion like thank you for playing my game as an example I personally always like to leave three seconds or more so people can uh, read it and take a, take a take guesses or, you know, so they can think about it. So I think that's it for our project. I kind of want to click all the way in here so we can see the whole project. So it should be looking like this. But you can always zoom in to, to look at it better. 